Hello everybody, I'm going to do a review on this Clean Stream Pro wet dry vac filter I picked up from the Home Depot. This retails for $32.97 which is exactly what I paid. This is model number 09093 for reference and the store SKU number is 553600 for reference. Now they claim this filter is a 0.3 micron HEPA filter that's actually pretty good and it should capture 99.97 percent of particulates now I picked this up because right on the box it says great for drywall dust and that's kind of what I'm at where I'm at right now you know if you're using the standard paper filters in a shop vac loosely said then they're they're just dust pumps you know unless you get a good filtration system on them they just pump whatever you collect back out into the atmosphere so this one claims it's good for drywall dust this is a wet and dry use you do not need to take it off like with the paper filters and then put on a foam sleeve or something for wet use you should be able to be able to go right back and forth with this you might ask why are you just looking at a box well that's because I have used the filter and I have it sitting next to me and I did exactly that I sucked up a lot of drywall dust and we're gonna see how easy it comes off because they claim it's easy to clean it resists clogging and it's long-lasting now this is supposed to fit rigid and craftsman red wet and dry vax and you know I'm not sure of the model numbers you'd have to check that out to see if it fits everything but it does fit mine quite well. Uh, the newer Rigid Vax, you know, does have a, an option where you can put dust bags in to collect the finer particulate and then it would go through the standard paper filter or whatnot. My Vax are so old and that's how well the Rigid Vax work for me. Uh, my Vax is actually about 12 years old now and it sees, sees quite a bit of use and my wife's, wife's Vax about 10 years old or so and it's seen a lot of use as well so I'm going to show the filter itself in its current state and then we're going to clean it and I'll give you my final thoughts all right well here's a close shot of the filter media like I said I'd sucked up a bunch of drywall dust you can see it accumulating down in between these pleats now Typically, I would take something like this, like my paper filter, for example, and I'd put it in a plastic bag, wrap it up, take it out in the yard, beat it around for a while, pull it out while trying not to breathe in, and then throw it up in the air and maybe hit it with some compressed air. But they claim, I'm going to take one for the team here, I'm inside my shop, they claim that it should fall off fairly easily so I'm gonna flick a couple of these pleats and we're gonna see what we get Wow hopefully you can see that drywall dust just flaking right off there <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it up in the bag and do that very thing that I would normally do and then I'll bring it in and we'll see where we're at and then we're gonna wash it all right, well, I took it outside inside the plastic bag like my normal process and gave it a few good wraps and kind of worked it around a little bit to knock most of it off. Then pulled it out and kind of ran my fingers on the fins, dropped it on the ground a few times, beat a little bit on it, and stuff was still coming off. So I'm going to go ahead and do another sacrificial test here to my shop and see if we get anything coming off. I see some very very fine stuff it might even not pick up on the camera but it certainly did at that stage release everything that was on it all right well here's a quick shot of one of the surfaces on the top you can see this white substance here that's the drywall dust that is still on it right here it is like a talc I mean it's very very fine stuff so it's very hard to filter out so I'm going to take it to the sink and wash it off and we'll move on alright well here it is straight from the sink 
I did no scrubbing or anything. I just simply rinsed it under running water and it is super clean now. I do need to note that before I used it to clean up drywall dust, I was cleaning up miscellaneous debris, dirt, this, that, and the other. And there was a coating of, you know, black or brown material all over it. Then I sucked up the drywall dust. Uh, everything is gone just with a simple rinsing. The quality and construction of this I'm quite taken back with. Typically the paper filters and whatnot you have a hole right here. So when you put them on the back you put the white nut on, nylon nut or whatever it is and cinch everything up. This one does not mount that way. There is a flexible type of a plastic ring on the top and it literally you just push it on and it stays and it makes a good seal right there it is also lined on the internals right here with an expanded aluminum mesh so that will help maintain its integrity and it won't collapse on you over time another feature that I have seen or a construction aspect is these pleats where they're down in this plastic they're actually physically embedded in it. They do not move. That is where it is. As well on the top surface where there is this rubberish material, they're also embedded down in that. And they've been molded in there. So there really is no way for air to escape around these two surfaces and get on the inside. All right, well, I was gonna show you the installation procedure, at least as it's related to my vac. This is that nylon nut I was speaking of. And of course here's a standard paper filter. You can see that how nasty this thing is. And part of the problem I find with these is it relies on this seal right here in the bottom. It's not really tight to here. So over time these things will start deforming and becoming shorter so to speak and this is just a rubber end so you know you lose your seal is what I'm getting at so in order to put this on it's just as simple as putting it down here and kind of lining it up and there you go it's on it's ready to roll to get it off you kind of have to pry your fingers and wiggle it is kind of difficult to get off I will not deny that but you know what that tells you right there that you've got a good complete seal right here and you're not going to get anything passed on that. And of course nothing can come up through the bottom because there is no hole. And with everything being hermetically sealed so to speak, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a tight seal. Well alright guys, through my initial testing I believe this is a pure winner. This does remind me of my wind environmental filter I picked up for my dust collector, which I paid an arm and a leg for, so to speak. Much more than I paid for the actual dust collector itself. You know, I think it's a great quality and a great construction, so much so I'm going to buy a second one to put one in the vac in my shop. You saw how nasty my filter was. It needs to be changed anyway. And if you're just using standard paper filters, two paper filters and you've got one of these. If I can go through that and let's say clean this four times, I'm half the money ahead. It just depends on how you look at things. So all in all, I think it's a winner. I hope this helps you guys in some way. Thanks for watching and good luck. Hello everybody, I'm going to do a review on this Clean Stream Pro wet dry vac filter I picked up from the Home Depot. This retails for $32.97, which is exactly what I paid. This is model number 09093 for reference, and the store SKU number is 553600 for reference. Now they claim this filter is a 0.3 micron HEPA filter that's actually pretty good and it should capture 99.97 percent of particulates now I picked this up because right on the box it says great for drywall dust and that's kind of what I'm at 